Well, the upcoming presidential election has definitely had Americans talking, but how does the rest of the world view our election? Former U.S. diplomat Thomas Hansen spoke to the Lakes Area Unlimited Learning about how the U.S. foreign policy is impacting the 2016 presidential elections. Logan Gay has the story. Being a former U.S. diplomat has given Thomas Hansen quite a bit of experience with foreign affairs. Because he is still heavily involved in foreign relations, he has learned how other countries view our politics. You know, I still, I still do travel a fair amount, and so I, I, at conferences and such, I see how people are outside of our borders are reacting to, to our policies and even now in this election year to our politics. And so that, that impacts, it kind of gives a broader perspective on things. Hansen framed his presentation around five issues. We need to understand these countries on their own terms and adjust our policies to maximize our interests. Third, uh, the human rights of women in the world are very important. We may have a female president who will put this way up on the agenda. When it comes to the election, many people abroad are confused where the American candidates stand on certain subjects. I think that, that the populism in this campaign cycle, uh, some of the extreme statements that have been made uh, have been striking people outside of our border. We're not the only ones. If you look at Europe, I mean, there is populism in many parts of the world right now. And then third, they see us as somewhat erratic, shall we say. And frankly, it's not just between the parties. It, some of our candidates are saying very contradictory things on, for example, should we send troops to Syria or not? They, they change their position during the campaign. That confuses people, uh, and they're not quite sure what to expect. Through Hansen's presentation, attendees left with additional knowledge about what is happening with foreign affairs. Well, he has a way of uh, diffusing some of the issues that we uh, get ex uh, nervous about uh, in the Islamic uh, world, for example, and encouraging us to have a more mainstream uh, point of view about those things. And Crosby, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Lake Area Unlimited Learning will host its next program on Tuesday, May 10th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.